Hey there friend, what's happening? Scott Rayleigh here, enjoying the beautiful day out here by the beach. Voila, look at this. Look at this creation. How can you not be grateful for this? Isn't this magnificent? Just listening to the birds chirping and feeling the sun on your skin and the sun is out. I mean, just think about it guys. These are all gifts from God. These are all amazing gifts. How can we not be grateful for the gifts? Just look at me. I'm such a good looking guy. What a gift. Just take a look at the grass. You know what I mean? The grass. This is a gift, you guys. That's not just something we gave to ourselves. That was a gift that was given to us to be able to mow that grass and take care of that grass. You know what I mean? That's why I want to talk about this video is designated to the power of being grateful. The power of having gratitude. There's a story I want to share with you as well. You see guys, last night I was thinking to myself, as I was eating dinner, just looking at the cup of water next to me, and I was thinking how grateful it is that I can have that cup of water. How grateful it is to have a relationship with my mom and to be able to help my mom and her business. You see, my mom works full time and she started a business about four years ago, three years ago, that is taking off right now. And I'm her consultant, she says. Scott, you are my consultant. And I've been helping her, I've been giving her guidance and, and teaching her things on how to market. Um, recently, I created an iPhone application for her company so people can download her, her app when they're at the market or at the store. And she has a loyalty program in the app. I mean, I'm definitely pumped up that a son, okay, of my mom is able to help her out and not say, oh, mom, psh, you know, ask somebody else. You know what I mean? I'm grateful that I can wake up every morning this whole summer and decide what I want to do that day. Do I want to make a video? Do I want to go to the beach and make a video? Do I want to go here to have breakfast? What do I want to do with my friends? And if I wasn't grateful for all those small things in life, I probably would not be happy. Actually, forget it. I wouldn't be happy. If I didn't look at the grass right here and just, and just think of it as a gift from God that he's given me that grass to mow, then I probably wouldn't be grateful. And most of you are looking at me right now thinking I'm crazy. But if we are not grateful for all those small things in life, what, what, what is life for? I mean, just look at our hands. Look at our eyes. Look at our ears. Just think about the words coming out of my mouth and listening to every single word. Think about next time you're able to talk to somebody. Think about how much of a gift that is to be able to share your expressions, to be able to share your feelings through your mouth and through your words and how refreshing that is of a gift that has been given to us. You see, everything has been given to us. Not one thing did we give to ourselves, it's been given to me in you. So there's a story I want to share with you. And it, it's, it's a little crazy and it's a little negative and it's a little powerful. There's a guy, yesterday, one of my friends shared with me the story. He actually knows the guy personally. He's been working, right? Working a job. And he got fired from his job, right? And that's why we preach about this so much. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't think that your job is secure. Okay, that's why you should start a business and start investing in yourself and start listening to personal development, reading personal development books. Because when something like this happens and you lose your job, psh, whatever, you accept it, you move on. It's a negative thing, but guess what? You turn it into a positive. And that's why it's so powerful to be grateful for the small things because when you look at your hands, you look at your family, you look at your mom, you look at your brother, you look at the people around you, you say, you know what? These people are more important to me than that stupid job. You see what I mean? So the guy lost his job, guys, and instead of being grateful for that and turning that into a positive, he took his life. He took his own life, guys. This is powerful stuff that we're teaching you. If you do not take heed to being grateful in life, then you're killing yourself. And I don't want to see that happen. I want to see you thrive. I want to see you grow into a mountain. I want to see you grow to appreciate. If you look at me today, do you think that I just woke up one morning and was like talking about all of these things? No, I grew to appreciate. I grew with wisdom. You see, wisdom is not only knowledge, but wisdom is taking action from the knowledge you learn. So guys, there's a gentleman that I work with. He 
He's 24 years old. I'm 27, so I'm older than this guy. He made over $106,000 in the month of April, okay? He lives in London, doesn't even live in the U.S. In my business, he made over 100 k in one month. He said the main thing that got him to that amount of income that month was the fact that he woke up every morning and he wrote down 10 things that he was grateful for that morning. Now you don't have to write things every day, but at least you can make a list somewhere. You can keep it in your wallet. You can put it in an email. You can wake up with uh, wake up with it on the next on the side of your bed, and you can say, "I'm grateful for this. I'm so happy about this." And any time a negative comes in your life, like Satan trying to get into your life and, and trying to, you know, turn up your whole world, you're gonna say, "You know what? That can't affect me because I'm so grateful for this." And I have gratitude for that. And it's so powerful, you guys. It can totally change your state of mind and how happy you are that day. So every day you can be happy. Every day you can put smiles on people's faces. Every day you can start changing the way you make other people feel. Through the words that come, in your, come out of your mouth. Through the words that you type on your keyboard. People will start being inspired. I've had such a phenomenal week this week, guys. I've had at least three to four people come up to me this week and say, Scott, I don't even know you, but I feel like you're my friend. You've inspired me. Thank you for believing in me. You are so inspirational to me, Scott. Do you know how that makes me feel? Just think about it if that was you waking up to those type of messages. My life has drastically changed. People are coming up to me and saying, Scott, I am so impressed with how much truth you have in your life. I want some. Let me get some. Share with me. What do you got? And I went from struggling, not knowing why I wasn't making sales, not knowing why I didn't know the secret to life or the secret to my business. But the secret is, guys, it's personal development. And all my business focuses on is personal development. Reading every day, listening every day to the right audios, reading the right books, connecting with the right people, getting around people that have already gone through what you need to go through today. like alcoholism, getting over an addiction. You see guys, if you're trying to do it all on your own, that sounds a little hard, but what if you were able to listen to people that already did it? Then that's powerful. Now, if someone made $106,000 in one month in April of 2013, do you want to figure it out all on your own? Or do you want to listen to the guy that did it and listen to his secrets and how he did it? So you guys, we've paved the way for your success. We've given you the opportunity to step in the footsteps in the sand and follow our lead. Do you want to be a leader? I believe in you and I believe that you can become a leader. I believe that we can be at the top together as successful leaders. So my name is Scott Rayleigh. I just gave you amazing value. And probably one thing that you should at least do for yourself is start writing down things that you're grateful for. And I believe in you guys. That's the most important thing I could ever say to anybody is I believe in you. And if you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in me, go find somebody else to believe in until you can believe in yourself. My name is Scott Rayleigh. Today is going to be a great day. This summer is going to be a great summer. The relationships with my parents, my brother, my family, my business partners, my, my acquaintances, the people that I meet online, the future people that I haven't even met, the future people that I'm going to be impacting and influencing in their lives, I believe in every one of you. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here today. I love you all. Scott Rayleigh, coming out of Ventura, California. I'll talk to you on my next video. God bless and peace. And be grateful for something. Because what you don't know, you don't know. But if you open up your eyes and look around, you realize it's a lot more deeper than what you think. Just look around, guys. Let me let me pan this video. Let me show you what's going on. Let me give you guys an example. Just look. Look around you. Look at the birds. Look at the trees. Look at the sky, the blue sky. Look at the clouds. Just look. Pretty soon, even here in an hour, there's going to be a bunch of kids playing over here. such a beautiful thing guys to be able to look out there 
and look at the greatness instead of the negative. You know, there was a guy today, this morning, talking about how corrupt everything is, how corrupt the government, how corrupt the world is. And it's really not that corrupt when you step into the light. You see guys, there's darkness and there's light. And a good way I can explain that is Jesus was our light. He shared the truth. He explained his Father in the heavens. He says, follow me. Exercise faith in me. And I will give you everlasting life. I will give you the light. And light, once you step into it, it doesn't share with darkness. So you guys, get out of the darkness. Get out of her. Get out of there. Step into the light. Follow my lead. And click on the button below, the link below, and let's go out there and let's share your message with others. Let's impact your people. Let's share it with your audience. And that's what's so powerful about what we're doing. We're teaching others to let out their story and share with others so they can impact others that don't even know who you are, that can't wait to get a hold of you and have them listen to your story and say, you know what, Adam, you know what, Bob, you know what, Julie, you know what, Shelly, you changed my life. And I don't even know you. God bless, guys. I just had to share that real quick. I love you all, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.